Nearly 2,000 New Jersey nurses are on strike tonight after months of failed negotiations. Union members picketed outside of Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital in New Brunswick for most of the day today. CBS 2's Nick Calloway was there with the latest on the strike. Promptly at 7 a.m., the nurses walked off the job and onto the picket line. Today is a day that we all came together in solidarity as a nurse. The United Steelworkers Local 4 200 represents more than 1,700 nurses at Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital. The union went on strike after members voted down a new contract offer from the hospital. We just want safe staffing. We want to put into our contract so that every day we go in there, we know our staffing is, is safe. The nurses say because of short staffing, they are stretched thin, which is bad for patients and creating burnout for employees. 12, 14 hour shifts that turned into 16 hour days, uh, barely any rest break. I'm lucky if I could go to the bathroom. Robert Wood Johnson Hospital officials said the strike was unnecessary. In a statement, they said the hospital has done everything it could to avert a strike, adding that they twice accepted the union's demands. But union leadership said those offers were full of loopholes, which were bad for nurses. But to us, it's not about money. We just want more nurses at the bedsides. Union members say they'd like to get back to work quickly. They tell me they'd rather be in there than out here. Still, they say they are not backing down. It's not easy, um, but I come from a family and a long line of people that you've got to stand for what you believe in. And if that means it's going to be a large, long, long road, then that's so be it. The hospital is using an outside nursing agency to fill in during the strike. Officials say they are prepared to remain fully operational like like that for at least 60 days. What do we want? In New Brunswick, New Jersey, Nick Calloway, CBS 2 News.